It's Friday, the 14th of August, 2020. Back down the roadhouse, gonna chase down some drivers, see what they gotta say. Let's check it out. I'm here with a very beautiful lady. There's 900 reasons to want to touch her, but I can't afford it. Have a look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm here with this wild bloke called Steve. Don't know how I'm gonna remember his name, but anyway, he's an owner driver. He's got a mobile car park here, Steve. Mate, what's the state of the industry at the moment? Pretty ordinary. Um, main problem I think we have is there's just no facilities for drivers on the highway. It's it's just it's an ongoing problem and it just doesn't seem to be getting any better. Uh oh. In my opinion, it's not not too bad, but you know there definitely needs to be changes to like logbooks and stuff like that. But yeah, oh, you'd have to blame the rest areas; it's just not enough. So you're not especially, so especially up here. You come up here, you want to pull over five minutes or something. There's not enough rest areas. Um, we're not a car; we're quite a big vehicle, and we need decent rest areas and decent amenities. And it's just not enough of it up here. So you're not surprised there's only 21 parking bays in the state of Queensland? It wouldn't surprise me. They don't spend enough money on their um, rest areas, on their parking bays, and they don't spend enough money on their roads, mate. It's not just Queensland. It's the whole, it's the whole country. There's, it's just – you can't stop anywhere and have some privacy. Just You have to have a seven-hour break somewhere, and you're basically stuck in your truck, and it's, that's not really having a break. So that is the number one issue you would like to see the politicians address. What about payment terms? 30-day maximum payment terms or 14-day minimum maximum payment terms or a minimum rate? Are those things that you'd push as an owner driver? I think it's more I, I think it's more an agreement between yourself and the company you're working for. Um, if you don't want 30 days, you tell them you don't want 30 days, tell them you want 14 days or 21 days, whatever it may be. So what would be the number one issue that you want to see the politicians address to make your day safer? I think the kilometre rate should be abolished and be hourly. So that's my opinion. Educating car drivers, that's a big thing because we just can't pull up and manoeuvre like they think we can. And once again, rest areas. We need rest areas. We need, um, we need places where we can pull up and have our seven-hour break. These new laws were imposed on us a few years back and we need... They, they haven't improved anything up here as far as I'm concerned. When they're exploiting some foreign drivers and parasitic companies are skimming and exploiting these drivers and they're paying low rates down to $55 an hour for a semi-trailer hire, how do you compete with those parasites? Well, you can't, but, I mean, why you keep having fools that do it for that price, um, it's going to continue. Issue. So like, we really need someone that's going to enforce these minimum standards. Otherwise, a voluntary code of conduct or a code of conduct or a code of standards, it's toilet paper, isn't it, mate? It is. It's absolute. Like, I mean, the companies the companies know what they're doing to, to drivers and to owner drivers. And, I mean, if the drivers keep allowing it to happen, well, we've got no one to blame but ourselves. We're not asking for anything more than the respectful conditions of safe work. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We, we, need, we need a fair bit of respect out here for what we do. We stay away from our families for weeks on end and um, we, we need a bit of respect out here, you know, uh, especially with all the road taxes we pay as well. So there's a fair bit there too. So, Has the, co has the COVID restrictions like affected you at all? Dramatically. Dramatically. We can't get around like what we're used to because obviously everybody's got to be safe. We've got to follow the rules so we can get out of this together. And um, this rest area thing, it's a, it's a big thing. I'm trying to get drivers involved in this Senate inquiry by sending an email to rrat.sen at aph.gov.au. How can I encourage drivers to send an email, get involved, join the union, join the fight, push on for some higher standards? Because if they throw this report in the bin, then what are we going to do? Yeah, look, I, I've never been one for, for unions, I think. They, they help some but don't help all. And 
it's either one in, all in, or, or none at all. Um, I've always negotiated for myself, um, and I've never had issues with that. I've been an owner driver for a very, very long time, and I make a living out of it. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna make millions out of it, but you know, I turn it over, so that's you know, that's all I can do. I got to look after myself. But I mean, look, to be honest, you look like a man not to be messed with, and some of these, and 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 and, and these other guys. They aren't the highest common denominator like you. They're the lowest common denominator, and we got to protect them. Being the top level, we got to look after the lower level, don't we? Even if it means you got to pay a bit of coin to the union and go and get into a fight. Yeah, yeah for sure. It, I mean, look, ev everyone, everyone is individual, and there's a lot that do need help, and I understand that. Um, look, truck drivers aren't brain surgeons. <laughs> you know, the, you know, the truck drivers. That's uh, right. We make more decisions in a minute than an airline pilot, but we're not, not trusted to regulate our own fatigue, are we? No, that's right. It's, you know, we're, we're driving when we should be sleeping. We're sleeping when we should be driving. So we're trying to work to hours that don't really work for, for drivers and for companies. Are you a member of the Transport Workers Union? And if not, would you join if we're going to take industrial action? Uh, possibly, yeah. I don't know. I haven't looked into it much, but yeah, it's something I'll do. Could be larger than